Science Central. Whether they get their kicks going up or going down, some people are thrill seekers. Now brain imaging researchers have found that thrill seekers brains may have less control over the cells that release the reward chemical dopamine. The fact that this a relationship came up and came out so cleanly was very exciting. Vanderbilt University psychologist David Zald asked volunteers to fill out a questionnaire that measured thrill seeking and risk taking personality traits. The scale that we used measured things like how much the person wants to try new things, how free they are in terms of spending money, and the person's willingness to be spontaneous or even break rules. Then his team performed brain scans on the volunteers. Okay. They measured the number of autoreceptors, shown here in blue, which act like brakes that limit the amount of dopamine that's released. As they wrote in the Journal of Neuroscience, low thrill seekers had many breaks, while high thrill seekers had very few. What we think that means is people who really don't have the breaks on their dopamine system, they're really going to release more dopamine and have more of the rewarding effects of dopamine. Zald hopes that continued research will uncover why some thrill seekers are motivated to take deadly risks and others find ways to balance their need for excitement in healthier ways. Brad Closa, Science Central News.